Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. We're going to take a look at all the major currencies to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week. Let's go. Hi guys, my name is Pierre. Welcome to my channel. This channel is all about helping you grow your trading account and making you a better trader. Now each week I upload a new video like this so if you're new to the channel do not forget to subscribe and please guys hit that like button for me it will help the video a lot. So let's get started with the Dixie and as usual we are looking at the weekly time frame and we see that the Dixie last week start testing a pretty interesting area down here as you see we um, we start testing the, the area where we have a potential support now there is still a little bit of a room if it's gonna reach the extreme down here before the reversal but looking left really we see that this area is really a level of interest so last week there was a little bit of a rejection we end up with a hammer candle on the weekly going down to the daily time frame we see that we we start to uh, have some uh, bullish divergence on the RSI daily time frame and uh, a little bit of a reversal after this morning star formation with a close um, right at or just little above previous um, candle and the Friday candle was a break of the neckline here. So if we go down to the four hour time frame, we see what uh, neckline I'm talking about and this is uh, the neckline we are uh, talking about here so there is a potential um, uh, uh, short-term reversal on the on the dollar in my opinion at least some kind of a continuation toward this area up here could be a possible market objective for next week at around the 90.80 this level gonna be pretty interesting area here for the for the bears to defend and for the bulls to break out of it because a break above this level would signal a continuation move all the way back toward 92 but since we are um, doing this as day trading and swing trading i think it is uh, enough to keep an eye on this level down here the market uh, need to hold above this level to then continue higher so if that would be the case on the dollar look for a continuation as far as we are holding above this level and above these lows down here the dollar may have a little bit of a reversal to the upside for the upcoming week now we look at gold and we see that we had a little bit of uh, unexpected uh, move to the downside and also a little bit of un um, unexplained. I, I actually don't have uh, the main idea why we had such a huge move to the downside on gold on Friday. You are very welcome to uh comment on that in the comment section below if you know anything or what is your uh, theory about this move to the downside on friday and gold uh, for me it was unexplained why we had such a huge move to the downside but all in all if we look at the charts the doll did uh, the, uh, the gold did reach a level of interest so this area was a level where we uh, were expecting some potential um, correction to the downside and uh, the market did test the area and start moving lower but as i said on friday was a huge move to the downside and right now the market did test the 200 moving average on the daily time frame which been holding nicely so far so if we look um, uh, if we look left we see that around the 200 moving average here the market start moving to the upside here that we had a little bit of a spike below that to then see the market moving higher and here we had another spike below it to then see the market moving higher and uh, we will see if we're gonna see the same scenario once again so i will use the 200 moving average as my filter as far as the market is um, holding above it we might see another continuation move to the upside but keep in mind this um, <coughs> this last week if we check the weekly time frame we have a huge um, candle a bearish candle and uh, in my opinion what if um, uh, we keep moving uh, to the bottom of this channel before the next move and that is a potential scenario you know that we might see one more leg to the downside all the way to the bottom of the channel before of before any continuation and that will still keep this market as a bullish market so for next week if they break below the 200 moving average hold below it start making some kind of flag something like that we look for a continuation move 1775 down here is a level of interest in my opinion for the bull so if the market reached that level also keep an eye on the area for a potential bullish con uh, bullish uh, bounce from this level here so 
First, I will check the 200 moving average and see if the market gonna hold above it. Second level gonna be down here because what we are seeing right, right now is a, a correction and I'm expecting one more leg to the upside. The question is when and how big of a correction we're gonna have before that happens. Oil still bullish, so we had a strong break to the upside above this level here. Looking at this uh, chart, you see that we are looking at um, a bullish market on the daily time frame and um, or the weekly time frame actually. So after this impulse, we had this correction and now we are inside yet another impulse. The question is how far it will go. So looking left, the market tested this, this level and moved above that. And next market objective could be uh, to tag this uh, swing high here we have on the chart and there is still um, a bit of a room to that. So uh, as far as the market is holding above these previous highs, we look for a continuation move. So right now, 49.50 is a level of interest. If we get some kind of a correction back toward the area, we look for a, um, a potential continuation to the upside on oil. EURUSD daily time frame, we see that this market um, starts slowing down a little bit, the same as we had previously here. We start getting something like this. We start having, uh, having a, dive, a bearish divergence on the RSI and then we saw the market pushing a little bit uh, down a correction lower and uh, right now we are looking at uh, almost the same pattern the market is slowing down we do have a bearish divergence triple top uh, bearish divergence on the rsi and uh, yeah if we break out of this uh, channel to the downside we probably did already then we might look for a little bit of a correction i would like to see this market moving back down to 1.19 to then look for a potential continuation move because it is a bullish market uh, all in all so checking the lower time frame we see that on the four hour we had a little bit of a break to the upside the next move they failed to make a new high to then see the market breaking this little trend line and moving lower and um, if we go down to the one hour time frame we see it more clearly there was a double top the neckline was broken we did see a retest of that neckline and continuation so um, i think the market objective is at least to reach the monthly pivot point area down here for next week and uh, if they manage to break below that we are looking for potential continu continuation toward 1.20 and uh, monthly s1 at the least on um, on the euro but the first level we should be looking at is down here at around the monthly pivot point this area down here is uh, the first uh, potential support on the euro sterling uh, still inside this uh, little range but with the one main difference that uh, we have this lower high and another attempt to break higher that failed and we have equal lows. So it looks like we might see uh, some kind of a break to the downside. Uh, it is building up pressure and if it breaks lower, I think we might see a little bit of a continuation move to the downside. Next support level gonna be just around the monthly pivot point. So this area also need to be broken for more downside. Otherwise it might happen that you see a break below this to then see some uh, fighting happening at around the monthly pivot point so keep an eye on that because the bulls might try to uh, push it uh, to the upside uh, again but if that uh, dixie to reverse to the upside we might see a deeper or a deeper correction here on the sterling as well usd jappy a very strong move to the upside uh, starting from um, the uh, 102.60 area down here the market did push below previous lows to then give you a, um, a reversal to the upside and if we check the, the daily time frame we see that uh, on Friday we had a break and close above this uh, previous high so uh, we we, uh, we see the market breaking a, a major area uh, right now uh, because it is a, a good swing high here uh, lower high that got broken so this is a potential signal that we might see a little bit of a reversal keep in mind that we had such a move previously a huge move here that was not enough and the market did move low anyway but the main difference here uh, the divergence on the RSI on the daily looking good uh, if we check the weekly time frame we see that we do have a nice bullish engulfing candle and usually this pattern when this start happening I think if this break to the upside we're gonna see a huge and a fast move toward 108 area uh, guys so keep that in mind uh, it is still not there yet but most of the time when you start seeing these patterns uh, the corrections are big 
and the market is moving slowly like this the move to the upside gonna be a uh, big move if it happens so we're gonna follow this um, uh, day by day uh, and um, mostly on the four hour time frame i like i like this time frame and what we see here that we had the first push we had a retest another strong push another retest and potential continuation so for next week if the market break above uh, 104 uh, up here we look for a continuation move and that continuation move may be quick as i said usd chief so uh, this market uh, also start getting um, interesting checking the weekly time frame the market did dip down here in these areas now it is a zone here so it does not mean it have to tag these lows exactly i would love to see it tagging this lows for a, um, a reversal but the weekly candle looking good for uh, the bulls as a defense candle the daily time frame was still uh, in a bearish structure as you see the previous move was a lower high and then a broken structure so it is still a bearish structure this still could be something like this and a continuation my main goal is to see this market tagging these lows before the correction start happening but who knows it is not the same case every time that you see the market going all the way down before a continuation but for our time frame the market did uh, a nice attempt to the upside we do have a nice rounded bottom here and as you see on the chart here we were talking about uh, after the breakout here i said to our trading room that we look for a retest and continuation now the retest was not as deep as you see the the market did uh, three candles uh, only to then start moving to the upside but all in all in my opinion this area is still a level of interest as far as this holding da down here as support you might still see the bulls uh, try to defend it and move higher so as far as this holding as support down here we might still look for uh, a little bit of a bounce to the upside maybe some kind of a range down here could get established as well uh, the, the downside for the bulls here that they failed to break to a new high here on the on this attempt to the upside but also keep in mind it was the the last hours of the trading week so um, usually you might see a little bit of a profit taking which maybe did this um, uh, move to the downside so all in all if this is holding as support we look for potential continuation toward monthly pivot point and if they fail to hold this area then we are potentially going for one more leg to the downside and probably deeper usd cad sideways right now keep an eye on this range this is a very interesting range if we check the weekly time frame we see that this market been trading below structure here and i was expecting this market to tag this low down here on the higher time frame so last week we had a little bit of a gap down on the weekly as you see and if we check the daily time frame we had a break and close below previous lows the um, last three candles was um, a very small body candle so this could be a correction and then continuation to the downside but if you play it on the uh, lower time frame you keep an eye on this range as far as this range is holding you could keep playing this range by the low sell the high until you have a break out of it if the break happened to the downside then we are looking for continuation because that would be uh, in the uh, direction of the main trend which, which is a bearish trend especially if oil keep moving to the upside this will help uh, the cad a lot Aussie USD oh we still have this uh, trade idea from last week um, so uh, yeah let's talk about this trade idea a little bit so what um, it is pretty simple here, here guys and um, I think most of you heard about the 2618 trades so uh, what we the main idea was here too um, uh, to play a 2618 trade after the uh, double top here and the break of the neckline all we had to do is to draw the Fibonacci from the high to the low, find the 618 and uh, put a limit order, stop loss above previous high, target the first uh, the first low and target two is um, up to uh, you um, basically. So that was it. That's why we have this on the chart. This is uh, one idea that did uh, one of the ideas that I did publish in our trading room. So, but all in all, on we, if we check the daily time frame, uh, we are testing a, a pretty interesting area here, looking left. 
uh, we are testing this whole area here that been acting as support and resistance we are looking at a very strong bullish market on the weekly and on the daily we start having a little bit of a bearish divergence or as you see going down to the four hour time frame this is where things start getting interesting on the four hour we have a very big divergence actually if we look at uh, this top here and this top here so there is a big bearish divergence but still we are looking at the bullish market the only signal here is the divergence and this lower high we've got but this is not enough for for this market to really start moving to the downside we need to see this level broken if that would be the case then i'm expecting this market to move down all the way back to the trend line as far as the trend line is holding as support the bulls might start to defend it one more time and give you a continuation move because it is a level of interest looking left here we do have previous low we do have some previous swing highs so this area down here gonna be a pretty interesting for the bulls to defend it so keep an eye on that level for next week and as i said if the structure here got broken you might get a little bit of a short-term trade here to the downside to then take profit here and potentially start looking for bullish evidence now if they fail to hold the trend line and breaks below it the next target is very clear that would be down here all the way toward this area on uh, Aussie USD so uh, pretty straightforward here if um, things goes as I'm explaining here yeah so it is always if this happened then we do that okay as you see I'm not saying the market will do this or will do that we always think if this happened we do this if that happened we do that okay New Zealand USD uh, same scenario here almost as um, Aussie USD checking the weekly time frame we see that this market did enter a level of interest if we check uh, this area this whole area here is a um, an area of resistance now we had the first uh, test of the level here and then we start seeing a little bit of a rejection on the weekly going down to the daily we see that we do have also here a bearish divergence but still we are looking at the bullish market okay so how higher highs and higher lows nothing has changed and on the five hour time frame uh, one interesting thing is this first lower high a break below structure the neckline got broken another lower high so that's what uh, make it uh, starting being a little bit a little bit interested i'm not saying we do have a reversal we had something like that previously the market did this broke the neckline to then start see it moving to the upside so this is a, a little bit of a early sign for a potential um, reversal so we had this move on the one hour time frame another break lower the market start making lower highs and lower high lows another lower high another lower low and then a break below it and as you see right now the 200 moving average on the one hour holding this market um, as support so what i'm looking for next week if they fail to make a new high then potentially one more leg to the downside first market objective probably this previous low so that would be the first target so for next week guys uh, there you have um free trade idea here somewhere here in this area is your uh, should be your kill zone somewhere here uh, you should uh, look for uh, an entry uh, an entry reason if you find that entry reason then you could target down here this area down here depends on when you where your entry gonna be uh, stop loss above this previous high if you want to be more safe you put your stop loss above this previous high now depends on where you find your entry the higher the better because you could have your stop loss a little bit smaller and you still could target down here but if you find your entry somewhere here at the bottom of the kill zone uh, then your stop loss need to be a little bit bigger and if it does not give you a one-to-one -one trade then you scratch it so it is pretty simple here we have a break a retest and then you have your kill zone and you want to find your uh, bearish evidence at that area so that is what i'm looking for short term potential continuation to the downside but keep in mind we are looking at uh, a nice and strong bullish market uh, it is a counter trend trade so uh, keep that in mind but again guys uh, it could be time for a little bit of a correction so why not find something like this 
if we find something like this and we trade it there is a lot of pips to um, catch there anyway so uh, yeah that was it for this week guys thanks a lot do not forget to hit that like button for me and see you next week bye bye